In this video, I'm going to show you how you can scrape Apollo leads for completely free, as well as exporting those leads and also putting it inside an anytime workflow so you can completely automate this full scraping process. Apollo.io is probably the best lead database out there if you want to scrape leads for businesses. But as you can see, if you want to scrape more than 100 credits, you actually have to pay $59 for 5,000 credits. And if you want to uh, get 10,000 credits, you need to pay $99. So to avoid this, we're actually going to not scrape directly from Apollo, but we're going to use a site called Appify, which is basically just a website hosting many different scrapers. So what we're going to do is we're going to log in. If you don't have a sign up yet, you need to sign up. I'm just going to click on go to console because I've already logged in. And once you're logged in, you, as you can see, we have a lot of different scrapers inside of here, which you can search for, all from social media, AI, lead generation, e-commerce, SEO tools, job, etc. We're going to use some lead gener generation tools for now. And as you see, you can do Google Maps, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. But for now, we are going to search for Apollo. And we are going to find the Apollo scraper that is called, if I just search for that, we're going to find the Apollo scraper that is called Apollo scraper, scrape up to 50K leads. The first one you see that pop up, that pops up. <clears throat> and as you can see inside of here, it costs $1.2 per 1,000 leads. And the reason I said that it actually was free is that, as you see on the left-hand side here, uh, we actually have $5 of free usage when you sign up for a Appify account. And you get those free $5 every single month, which means that you get like over 4,000 leads from uh, Apollo if you only use that scraper every single month. So that is basically free leads from Apollo, which you would need to pay like $59 a month for in Apollo. So what we need to do now is we actually need, as you can see here, we need a search URL. So we are going to go over to Apollo. You need to create an account on Apollo. And then you will go over to the site where you can actually scrape leads. But we're not, not going to scrape leads, but we need the URL that we need to basically copy that and, head, and paste that in over here inside of the Appify scraper. So what we're going to do to get the URL we want to scrape, basically we can set the parameters of the types of leads we want to scrape. So for now, I'll just set this to uh, an email status here. This is not going to be an Apollo.io course, but I'm just going to show you how what I did. I set the email status here to verify, <clears throat> and I excluded catch-alls, as well as I had job titles as owner, CEO, founder, president, director, and CMO. You don't need to copy me directly, but this is just something to find the decision makers in each company because the, those are the people you want to contact, because that, those are leads you want to scrape. And so for my location, I just picked a random location, which is Austin, Texas. And just to make my scrape a bit smaller, because as you can see inside of here, the minimum records required is actually 500. So you need to scrape 500 records each time, which means that you use a lot of those, uh, a lot of that free usage you have on Apollo, on Appify, and you don't want to use that just for testing. So for now, to maybe only get like 50 results or something, I think it's, yeah, it says 131. I picked my employees just to be, or the employees of the companies I want to scrape to only be 50 to 200. And I also chose real estate as the niche. So I'm going to scrape real estate companies with 1,500 employees in Austin, Texas. And also I'm just going to scrape these, the people who have these job titles and also have verified emails. So when you're done with setting your parameters, you can just go ahead and copy that URL right here. And you can go back over to your Appify account and you can just paste that in here. Just select all and paste that in. <clears throat> Once you've done that, you can actually click here on run options. So as you can see, you can actually put a maximum charge result here to 10. I didn't know that when I actually put the Made, made the list that was, was small because I only got the error that I needed to have like at least 500 records. So just put this to maximum charge results when you're testing, and then you can click on start when you are done, and we will get a, a list of leads that we can export. And as you see, that only took 15 seconds because it was a limit of 10, and we actually found 100 results, but it stopped because the limit was 10. And we also have, you can also export these results right here, but what we're going to do is we're actually not going to do that. If you want to do that, you can ex export those and you can click on CSV or however you want to export those leads. You can just click on download and then you will have all those leads inside that CSV file. But what we're actually going to do instead of that, I'm going to show you how you can use this in an anytime workflow so you can automatically scrape these leads based on different parameters and stuff like that. So now I'm going to use an automation platform called NetM, where you need to just head over to nitm.com and sign up for a new account. You get a free trial, so don't worry about that. And you can just click on create your first workflow, and then you will be in a site like this, and you just need to click on the plus sign to add a little trigger here, which will be called the trigger manually, because we want to trigger this workflow manually by now, for now. And then we're going to add a little HTTP node. So you can just click on the plus sign and then find the HTTP request node in here. And I just need to turn on my camera once again. 
And we actually want this to stay as a GET request. But the URL we want to use is something we're going to find in Appify. So we're going to head back over to Appify. And inside of your actor here, where, which you run recently, you can just click on the integrations. And inside of here, you want to click on Use AI API Endpoints. And you want to scroll down until you find the Run Actor synchronously and get dataset items. You just need to copy this. And the nice thing about this is that you actually don't need to copy your API key because this has your API token baked in. So you head back over to NetN and you just paste that in here like that. And now we're almost done. Actually, we just need to click on send body. And we want to send JSON and using the JSON below or using the JSON. And then we want to head back over to our Appify and we want to go out of this and we need to head back to our actor. So you can just head back. And we want to click here from the input tab. We want to click on JSON. And inside of here, we just want to copy this whole JSON right here. Copy that because that has the both the total records and also the URL that we want to use. And you just need to paste that in here. Click on paste as plain text. And now we can actually try and run this actor to see whether or not we get the same results we got inside Appify. So you can just click on test step. And as you can see, we now got the 139 items, which was kind of the same as the 131 leads I had in my Apollo script, as you can see in right here. It said that we would get 131, but now we got 139. So that's about the same. You can also see this in a table, which is maybe more intuitive, or in a schema, which is, might be actually the most intuitive. So what we can do with this now is we can actually go ahead and put this inside of our CRM. So whatever that CRM is for you, you will probably find it here inside of an attempt. But for now, I'll just add it into a Google Sheets node. So I just need to find Google Sheets and click on that. And you want to append a row in Sheets. So there are actually a couple of ways of doing this. The first one you can, you can do is just add all this data inside of your Google Sheets. But I actually don't want to do that because there are so much data you get here from Apollo. As you can see, you get like employment history, which is something I really don't want to have inside my lead list. So what you can do instead of getting all this clutter inside of your Google Sheets is that you can actually go ahead and first make Google Sheets, which looks like this. So I pulled here the data I want to use inside of my lead list, which is first name, last name, email, company name, company website, LinkedIn URL, company LinkedIn, and phone. So what I'm going to do with this data is I'm actually going to find that lead list. You actually need to connect to your Google Sheets account by going to the console.google.cloud and set up an app and also enabling Google Sheets. And then go ahead and create a new credential in here. And you need to just sign in with Google and you should be good to go. Uh, and close that. And now I'm going to actually show you by searching for Apollo lead lists. And we are probably going to find our lead list there. There we go. And we want to just paste that into sheet one because that was the sheet I was in. And I once again need to turn on my camera. Really need to get a new camera. And as you can see, we now have the different headers that we set in our Google Sheets. So I'm now going to basically just drag and drop these things over here. First name, last name, email. Let me see if we can find the email. For this guy, email is here. There we go. Company name, which was MMOC MIMSO, MIMCO. And we also have the company website, which should be right. Let me see. Company website. There we go. And we also have the LinkedIn of that person, which should be up here. LinkedIn URL for Will Volk. And we also have the organization LinkedIn URL, which is super nice. Paste that in there. And once you're done with that, you can just click on test this step and you should be able to get all of that data inside of this Google Sheet. Should be populated now in a second. There we go. As you can see, super nice. Now we have all of these emails in here. All are verified by Apollo. So that should be a really, really solid lead list and you paid almost nothing for this lead list. So if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe. And if you want to work with me, you can click the link in the description and I'll see you in the next one.